Hi all, another week and I am glad to meet you all back with another useful tip from dataplatformcentral.com. In this edition we are going to present before you an interesting power BI tip which deals with the execution monitoring and usage tracing inside power BI workspaces. As you might probably know you have multiple contents uploaded to different workspaces across power BI. Quite often it's very difficult for us to monitor the usage of these reports. We are creating lots of reports for our uh, users, we are uh, deploying lots of data sets, how many of these data, set, data sets are uh, used by users, how many of these reports are used by users, what is the level of utilization of these reports. It's very difficult for us to take stock of all these factors when we have lots of workspaces and lots of report content inside each of those workspaces. So this tip helps you to understand how you can monitor the usage of your reports which are deployed inside a workspace in Power BI. Keep in mind that whatever we are discussing as a part of uh, this edition video is a premium feature which means that this feature is only available to the workspaces which are either in premium license or premium per user license. So how do you do it? This is made possible by the close integration between Power BI and Azure Log Analytics. So let's see how we can connect or link our Power BI workspace to a Log Analytics workspace and we can analyze the log information that is gathered from our Power BI workspace to understand the utilization of our reports. This becomes very handy in use cases where you are going and inheriting an existing Power BI workspace consisting of hundreds of reports and you have no idea how many people are using these reports and which of these reports are currently in use. In such cases, it will be very easier for you when you uh, use the log analytics tool to monitor the logs within your Power BI workspace to understand which all reports are being used and how many people are currently in the process of using it. So let's go ahead quickly and see a quick demo of how we can set it up and then let's see how we can monitor the usage of your reports through this Azure Log Analytics workspace. To start off, I am logged into my Power BI portal with a sample user and I have multiple workspaces inside my Power BI workspace and one of them is a workspace which is in premium per user. Level. So I'm going to that workspace and I'm going to link this workspace to a log analytics workspace so as to monitor the usage of the reports within this workspace. So to make this possible, the first thing for us is to go and add a log analytics account in Azure portal under the same tenant. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to go to the Azure portal which is portal.azure.com under the same user and I'll be adding a log analytics workspace. So as you see, I have already created the log analytics workspace. You can create it by clicking on create option. So you can just go to the home page of your Azure portal. You can search for log analytics and automatically it will provide you with the log analytics workspaces. You can click on create and you can associate it to a resource group and give it a name and click on review create. So to create the log analytics workspace. So using this review plus create option, I have already created a log analytics workspace. One thing to note here is that for the first time, if you are just adding a subscription under your Azure portal, sometimes you will not be able to create the log analytics workspace by default. This is because you might not be having access under Microsoft Insights resource provider. So in such cases, what you need to do is that you need to first go to the home page, click on your subscription and under the subscription, you have something known as resource providers and make sure that there is a research provider for microsoft.insights this should be registered if it is not registered you need to select that and there will be an option to register on the top there will be a register button on top you need to click on it and make sure that it is getting registered before you go ahead and try to create a log analytics workspace so that is your first step once you are done this you can then come back and search for the log analytics workspaces and create a workspace inside that the second step that you need to take care of is once you go inside a log analytics workspace, before you start linking your Power BI workspace to a log analytics workspace, you need to add your Power BI service as a user inside your log analytics workspace. For this, you can go to the access control tab inside your uh, overview page of your uh, 
log analytics workspace and then there is an option for role assignments so we are going to assign a role for the power bi service so click on role assignments and as you see i have already assigned the power bi service as a monitoring contributor inside your log analytics workspace so this needs to be added prior to linking your power bi workspace to your log analytics workspace for this you can click on add and there is an option called add role assignment in this you can create the uh, select the role for monitoring contributor and instead of user group or server group you can actually select the service which corresponds you can just actually search for the power bi service and once you search for the power bi service it will be shown all the available services are there in which there will be one called power bi service select that and add it under the monetary contributor service and then you will see this listed under your access control so once these two steps are completed now it is ready the log analytics workspace is ready for linking from your power bi now once these two steps are ready you need to go back to your power bi portal for that uh, let's go back to my power bi portal and as with any other admin activities you need to go to the admin portal for linking it so go to admin portal and there is an option called azure connections go to azure connections and you have a option called workspace level log analytics permissions and this is currently in preview so you can expand that and click on the checkbox to allow workspace admins to connect to their own log analytic workspaces so you need to make sure that the user who is doing this is actually an admin in case it's another user who is trying to do it he needs to be first given access to the admin level inside your power bi so as to link the power bi workspace to the log analytics workspace so once you select it and click on save then the admin access has already been provided to the user so once this is done now if you come back to your uh, workspace your premium workspace keep in mind that the workspace should be a premium workspace the, so when you see this icon this diamond icon it means that it's a premium workspace so you come there there uh, go to workspaces click on this workspace and then you will get an access uh, click on this workspace access and workspace settings is there go to workspace settings and you have a tab for azure connections here you have a item for log analytics this is where you link your workspace to your log analytics workspace so expand this and you can you have an option called connect to azure you can click on connect to azure and automatically it finds that there is a subscription available for the same user it will show you all the available subscriptions i have only one subscription so i am selecting that subscription and what are the resources groups under uh, that particular subscription i have only a single resource group and what all log analytical workspaces are there so there is only one log analytical workspace which i have created just now and just select that and once you click on save it will automatically get linked between the uh, power bi workspace and the log analytics workspace keep in mind that at this time of creating this video only one to one connections are possible that means you can always connect a single power bi workspace to only a single log analytics workspace so if you have multiple workspaces if you want to monitor the data from these multiple workspaces you need to set up corresponding log analytics workspaces and link it from the power bi workspace to the log analytics workspaces so now that we have connected it to the uh, azure log analytics workspace let's go back to the azure portal and if you go inside the log analytics workspace there will be a section where you can see the logs if you go to the logs you can see that there will be a power bi item so under log management you can see that there is a power bi data set workspace and there is also a usage so this gives you all the columns that is available which is exposed from your power bi workspace so using these columns you'll be able to get valuable insights related to your power bi workspace usage for example suppose if you want to uh, say we want to find out the uh, reports which are generated between two times we can use a query like this so the query that we are using inside log analytics will be custo queries so uh, this is a special type of uh, query language called custo query language it is used uh, the same query language which is used when you are using custo or azure data explorer i already posted a video on azure data explorer so if you have uh, if you need more help on getting a basics on azure ql you can refer to my earlier video on azure ql in that we have explained uh, the basic uh, syntax of custom query language you can make use of that so here what it does is that basically this is like a table of your uh, sql 
a database so inside that table it will go and apply this where condition and it will return this particular column so in this case artifact name is the name of the report that we are running and we are looking for those reports which were executed between this particular date and this particular date and uh, we are like uh, excluding the cases where there is a blank report and we are looking at the distinct name of reports that's what this query does this is a symbol custom query and these are the names of the reports and uh, uh, that is what you see inside the results so if you go back to your uh, power bi and if you check the workspaces you'll be able to see that there are two reports one called one drive excel another one called uh, disk countdown another so you can get just go and check that so see this is that for the one of the report that it gives as the result and another one is this one drive. so whatever reports you are executed during that time period will be listed in your log like that you can uh, have a lot of uh, additional uh, uh, very useful queries so as to get insights from your log analytics workspace similarly if you want to find out the resource intensive reports within your power pi workspace you can write a custom query like this so what it does is that it takes from the workspace the details of all reports based on the descending out of the cpu time so this gives you the top 10 here i am taking the top 10 so the top 10 reports based on the cpu utilization so if you see these are the uh, reports taking the maximum cpu time and similarly if you want to consider the total duration which is another column which includes the uh, total time taken by a rendering of a power bi report you can use the similar query instead of cpu timing you can make use of the total duration so that based on the total duration it will give you the listing of the reports like this you can have different types of very useful small small custom queries which can be executed within your log analytics to get useful insights based on your power bi workspace data so for example this is another symbol question query this will give you based on the usage how many reports were accessed how many times depending on that it will summarize and give you the details so here if you see we are running for the last seven days you can change the time range as required so for the last uh, seven days if you see the maximum executed report was this report and followed by the other two reports so like this you can get useful insights now what is the use if you can't use this inside a visualization tool so that's the next step so what if you want to use this information itself inside another power bi report so let's see how we can do that for that first what you need to do is like you can actually select a query copy it onto a new window and execute the query and once you get the result there is an option on the top which says export click on export and there is one option within it which says like export to power bi m query so you can select that option so it will actually uh, ask you to download the file you can allow the download of the files and the file will get downloaded inside your download folder so once the file gets downloaded, you can go to the uh, downloaded folder open the file it will be a m query based on the query that you executed inside your log analytics so this will include a m query which can be used inside your power bi report so copy this whatever query generates go back to a blank power bi report go to the get data option inside your power bi report this is inside your power bi desktop actually so you can click on the get data option and then there will be an option uh, called a blank query so if you click on that get data option it will be the last option which is a blank query inside that you can go to the advanced editor because what you have with you is a m query and you can replace the m query in that with the m query that you got from the file and when you click on done the actual query will be executed here and uh, first time when you are trying it it will try to uh, ask you to login you can use the same login which you use for logging to your power bi portal once you close and apply it it will be added as a table inside your model so once that is added as a table inside your model what you can do is like you can use it for all your uh, charts for example this gives you the cpu timings along with the artifact name so what you could do is like you can pr probably have a a uh, column chart or uh, bar chart or whatever you want and you can uh, add the artifact name in the axis and you can use the cpu timing as the values to see how the different axes are so, so in this case we have only two reports so it's showing the two reports that is available inside our workspace 
similar to this you can keep on adding the other queries as well so after adding the other two queries also in the same way like copying the encode from the log analytics and creating it using a blank query option inside your power bi you will have all the tables available inside your power bi desktop so we have the duration query we have the reports by usage query now available we will be using these two for creating other type of visualizations for example for the duration query it makes sense to add it as a donut chart for example so we can add a donut chart and we can select artifact name as the legend and duration as the value so automatically it will show the donut chart based on the duration and similarly for the report by usage we can add a tree map you can add a tree map here and you can drag and drop uh, from the records per usage artifact name as the group and for the values you can select the uh, the occurrence value so that will give you the details of all the reports based on the usage so like this every query that you are generating inside log analytics you can copy the m query corresponding to that and paste it inside your power bi as a blank query and automatically it will retrieve the result for you inside your power bi and using this you can add useful insights in whatever visual format you want and this will help you to aggregate data from multiple workspaces also so suppose you have multiple workspaces in power bi each of those will be coming to a single workspace inside your log analytics and inside a power bi report you can pull data from all these log analytics workspaces so that as an admin user or as an admin team member you can be able to see what all reports are there in all your workspaces based on the workspace you can segregate your result and show it into a very useful type of visuals just like what we are seeing so whatever i have shown is a poc concept so you can add on it to make it into a more realistic implementation in your actual case hope this quick demo helped you to understand how you can link your power bi workspace to a log analytics workspace and through that you will be able to trace the usage as well as execution monitoring of your power bi reports within your premium workspaces and to add to that you can always use the data which is captured inside your log analytics workspace back into another power bi report so as to assemble the data from all your usage as well as from your execution monitoring so that it can be used for creating useful reports for your admin users so hope you will find it useful in one of your actual use cases as usual feel free to keep sending your comments and feel free to follow my channel for getting useful tips like this subscribe to my channel and press on bell icon for getting notifications meet you all soon with another useful quick tip next week till then bye and thanks for your time